how's your heart? I, I love that question. It, it, it just reminds me that if your heart's not right, nobody really cares about your skills. And as a leader, we love skills. We love to lead meetings and cast vision, build teams and solve problems. But ultimately, it's our leadership character that's going to make a huge difference. My friend Mark Miller has written a book called The Heart of Leadership. We we teach this content all the time, and it's my book review for this week. I want to I want to share with you real quickly these five heart habits that are in this book. The first one is this idea of thinking others first. We believe the best leaders are servant leaders, and and really when we think others first, it positions us to not just help them win. It, it we actually win ourselves if our motives are right. Uh, the second heart habit is to is to expect the best. Do you ever get around people who expect the worst? Things get hard, and they just expect it's just going to get harder rather than having a positive attitude. I think I think really great leaders have this this idea that that they have some control. There, there's an internal locus of control that their their actions are going to affect outcomes, and they just expect that things are going to get really really good. Uh, the A is is they, and again, this is going to spell hard if you flip them around. The A is we accept responsibility. Uh, Mark says that that leaders accept responsibility not just for their actions, but also the actions of those they lead. I think that's important. And then we respond with courage is our is our is our next one. We we we're never comfortable being comfortable. We're, if we're leaders, we're comfortable being courageous. And then finally, we hunger for wisdom. I'm going to be talking about wisdom on uh, tomorrow's Chasing Greatness podcast. I hope you'll join us for that. We're going to look at a little Bible passage. I'm going to, I'm going to give you four or five verses that are going to help you think about being a wise leader. But Mark talks about in here uh, this idea of hungering for wisdom. Are you really hungry to get better, to grow? Your capacity to grow really is going to determine your capacity to lead. So Mark says here that uh, if your heart's not right, nobody cares about your skills. I hope you'll get a copy of The Heart of Leadership. It's a little leadership fable, basically, that lays this out. Now, I got a little bonus for you this week. Mark and I together have written The Heart of Leadership Field Guide. And in this field guide, there are 15 best practices, case studies, ideas for action, all kind of tactics, things you can do to help on the self-leadership side of your life. I would encourage you to get both of these. You can you can find them at leadeveryday.com. That's our website where we keep our resources. And, and if you'll go to leadeveryday.com and, and get these resources, I, I really do believe they can help you grow. I usually don't uh, uh, review our stuff, but I just thought this week, as we're talking about wisdom, we're talking about some of these things, this would be really helpful, especially if you're going through some hard stuff. Ultimately, you're going to you're gonna be challenged to lead yourself first. If you can do that, you're going to be in good shape. The heart of leadership is going to help you do that. Again, leadeveryday.com. I'll tell you this. We give all the profits to charity. So I, I, I don't hesitate at all to say go there. Find your leadership resources. They'll be helpful. They'll help, you, they'll help you grow. Not only you grow, but they'll help you grow other people as well. So if you really want to be a leader that others want to follow, get yourself a copy of The Heart of Leadership.